Well, welcome back. Sorry for that uh, interruption. That was due to some technical inter uh, uh, distraction and uh, interruption, but we sincerely apologize for that. Now, Mr. Gadre, let me continue again. So, is this now a hope? Because some persons, myself already was hoping to maybe convert, you know, or considering the CNG installation and the rest of it. But seeing this now, we talked about this last week on uh, here or sometime this week on Many Nigerians are saying that they don't want the CNG vehicles, that they prefer what they are only asking of the government is to, you know, reduce the, the price of the PMS. <laughs> so what is it? What's the way forward? Because as it is, I mean, as it look as it's looking, the CNG is not an alternative for Nigerians. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's not an alternative, but uh, uh, that is what they call remedy. Mm -hmm. So what's the <laughs> remedy? <laughs> So I think uh, if we can advise the government, okay. you understand, mm. they either stabilize the price of PMS yes. if they cannot bring it down because we had from the World Bank, mm. we had from the Belgian State Governor, mm. so and we have from Wale Edun and Yemi also. So if there, no, if there is no going back, mm. then let's maintain this price you understand but what i'm saying if the people if the uh, european country or the american country that brought it is no longer them like you need emphasis on you know the atmosphere being uh, one one of the factors that can uh, uh that can guarantee the safety of it and you make mention of roads and we clearly know that in nigerians we can't even boast of good roads yes we have bad roads so is it not better to take it off entirely what since it's the policy of the government, you understand? Mm. So we wait for the government to analyze and see that no, uh, this is not a way to go. Mm. You understand? Yes. But definitely it's not a way to go because, like I said, some African countries that started it mm. has abandoned it. Okay. Uh, uh, even the America and the Europe mm. that also introduced it mm. have abandoned it. And they have now changed electronic car. Electronic cars. You understand? Mm. So, Chinese is electronic. Car. And these are, when you look at it, when these are you country, countries that are more developed yes. than Nigerians. You know, so, if they can't manage it, how much more Nigerian are still uh, an underdeveloping country, underdeveloped country? Yes, and uh, 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 even the gas is not, it's not cheap. Either. It's not cheap. You understand? Mm. So, a CNG bus or a vehicle. Uh, uh, you load overload uh, passenger, of course, pack people like Sandy uh, Geisha. <laughs> you, you understand, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also uh, follow bad route with gallops and so exactly. on and so forth. Exactly. So, you think that's uh, uh, the compression of that uh, gas will remain stable? Mm -mm. Obviously not. Well, yes, viewers, at this point, this is our phone lines are now open for you to call in to give in your contribution and join the conversation. Mr. Gajo, I saw a thrashing headline, not just thrashing, but a shocking one this morning on the paper, which says that, uh, I'm trying to get that on to read, it's clearly, and which made noted that uh, Nigerian personnel, okay, corrupt security personnel selling weapons to criminals. And every day we lament about insecurity in, in insecurity in this country. And now there is, according to source, corrupt, uh, corrupt uh, security personnel are now the ones. Because we've asked and asked over times, who are the people selling ammunition to this in so um, Boko Haram and the rest of it? What do you have to say in that regard? Do you agree with this uh, re, re, uh, source that some persons, some personnel are selling arms and ammunition to insurgents and banditries i i agree with the n national security advisor mm. i agree with him for saying for co coming out boldly and say the truth mm. you understand mm. uh this is what you have been saying for the past uh uh, uh, uh 10 years now or mm. eight years mm. you understand uh there is a lot of compromises by the security agencies mm fighting either insurgency, gunmen, bandit, uh, uh, kidnappers, and so on and so forth. Because there is no way all this thing will be happening. Mm. And 
uh, uh, the government is not uh, uh, aware aware or having a intelligent report. You okay. understand? Yes. So, and if you if you uh, uh, notice or if you come to the security agencies themselves, mm. there is no cooperation. There is no coordination. Mm. There is no intelligent sharing. Mm. You understand? Mm how to fight these uh, uh, criminals mm. definitely there is a, a level of compromises we have been saying it uh, uh, the national security advisor this is the this we are doing you know every day you have been nigerians have been like but let's yes. go this there. let's quickly go on this short break we'll be back shortly do stay with us Well, welcome back from that break, and you're still on to the press on Kaftan Television. Well, Mr. Gadjo, let me ask you again. If we now we, uh, na the government comes out every day to tell us that they are fighting insecurity now, but the security prisoners who are meant to protect the lives and properties of the masses are now the one endangering it, are we, is there hope for us fighting insecurity in this country? Yeah, there is hope when we have, any time we have a good leadership, you understand? Mm. Uh, when we have uh, a leader with a political will, mm. a leader who is patriotic uh, uh, Nigeria, a leader mm. that uh, uh, loves his people. Okay. We can get... Uh, uh, eradicate insecurity. Eradicate or wipe insecurity in our uh, society. Mm. Now, uh, what me, I will add to what... Uh, uh, the national security advisor said please national security advisor help us let's audit our guns mm -hmm. our weapons you understand mm. how many guns go to the police how many guns go to the military mm. you understand mm. and uh, other security agencies including civil defense you understand okay. let us know mm. you, you understand mm. and let us know how many guns are not in our armory you understand mm. how many guns were recovered how many guns we have lost let, let get the audit of that uh, 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 weaponry you understand mm. so it, it will help from there then they will now start looking for uh, uh, investigating those personnel mm. that are compromising mm. yeah, then we can also move forward to where is this uh, our personnel because we have a lot of personnel that retire mm. that were dismissed mm. they were uh, suspended okay. without uh, uh, in reinstating them and so on and so forth where are they what are they doing mm. are they in, in their villages or in their hometowns are they in the cities which business are they doing mm. let us also investigate that but are, you, are, are you are you are you do you believe the, the ball is in the court of the national security advisor and uh president Mohammed, um, uh, Bola Bola Ahmed Tunimbu, the box top in his table okay but uh while the national security agency is saying that our uh, corrupt personalities uh, I'm, I'm kind of concerned why uh it can be those people cannot be fished out or what do you think like pick out those people because this is not a rumor that I, uh, the, the security agencies cannot tell us that they don't have a way of you know getting information i mean artificial intelligence and the rest of it so the point is why not fish out we, we we've had this over time this is not the first time I'm, I'm coming across something like this but where are those people can't they be fished out that is why i said this is coming from the national security advisor you, you understand mm. and I have advised him let audit you, you understand let's know how many guns we lost you understand mm. and how many we recovered okay you understand mm. and how many uh, uh, our personnel are in so many 
places in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? What is their business? That's what I'm, uh, I think I've already said that. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. Secondly, lastly, uh, uh, the National Security Advisor is a former anti-corruption Caesar in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, he can investigate this issue and get uh, uh, the corrupt personnel. Exactly. You, you understand? Exactly. And, right. and punish them. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Captain TV. Good morning. Glad to have you join us on the show. Your name and where you're calling us from? Uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm calling from Meduguri and uh, greeting to your guests. All right. Greetings uh, to you, too. Uh, good, good morning, Mohammed. Uh, yes, I accept my condolences for the fire incident that happened in your local government. Please, we are very sorry. May God forgive all those people that lost their lives. Amen. Uh, in continuation of uh, what we are discussing about, the issue of this national security statement is a very good thing. It's mm. a welcome call to everybody in Nigeria. Okay. Okay. Ever before, we know there is a bad X in every organization, not only in, in every organization, but mm. they are there mm. and they are like, just like me and you. So, the only thing is this if there is a good uh, uh, political will from every angle, mm. honestly speaking, we can holistically overcome our problem. This is not external problem, most of the time, are internal problem that we have to deal with it mm. within our country by ourselves. Mm. We are Nigeria. Mm. Let us reflect back. For mm. years, some years back, how Nigerians were very agile. Everybody in the world is afraid of Nigeria. If you go in terms of football, mm. how our players were playing, in Nigeria was very vibrant. Mm. We were very good in every aspect of life. Mm. So we can still make it. We mm. can still bring back our country. It is the same Nigeria we are. All right. Thank you very much. If you have a division of a tribal, religion, uh, politics, if we can keep them in one corner All and right. come back. And remain at Nigeria. Honestly speaking, we can help our country, and we can come out of this mad we are facing. Uh, mm. We are putting ourselves. Mm. Thank you very much for your contribution. Yeah, and my uh, guest, please allow me. Your yeah, guest, I will advise you once again. He's a very good politician. We are hoping maybe he can be somebody more than that mm. in the future. All right. But kindly help us mm. create awareness to our local concerns. Mm. What is happening right now? So most of these local government chairmen and the councillors are not properly elected. They were handpicked by their governors and give their disappointment. Mohammed, please round up with your thoughts so you can uh, in enable others yes, to join yes. the conversation. And helping the mass at the lower level. As they say, allocation of federation will be given to the local government directly from October. Please, we should not be given to them with right hand. Mm. And the governor will be collecting them back in left hand. All right. Let, what is given should be go down to the lower level and help the, the masses. All so right. That, Mm. All right, thank you very much, and have yourself a wonderful day ahead. <laughs> a viewer, your viewers want you to uh, help them with, uh, uh, you know, the local government level, whichever. But then, I, w I want to know the outcome of the uh, court judgment in your party. I mean, Fubara has this morning said, referring to some judges, that God will judge them for not uh, you know ruling out uh, the truth and uh, i know there was uh, a court uh, judgment recently so we are rather we are the pdp governors who want to uh, you know talk about or tackle the internal crisis in the party what is the outcome as a pdp member talk to us about the development uh, well uh, the crisis in the national is quite uh, uh, different and uh, they have de-escalated de the situation you understand mm. uh, at the national level mm. but at state level uh, the uh, river state governor simi Alai, uh, fubara mm. uh, what is uh, talking uh, to he, he is speaking to the judiciary mm. that god is watching them mm. here in this program i have said so there is no way a court a court of a uh, federal uh, a high court will come out and interpret a law that don't conduct election i have never seen it in the history of this world mm. there is no democracy without election mm -hmm. and a court will say no election mm. and will give order 
to the uh, 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 Nigerian police and other security agencies, including the INEC, she should not conduct that election. Mm. And the High Court has ruled that they can conduct an election because it is their own legitimacy. So without an election, how can they assess funds uh, 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 from the federal allocation and also how are they going to work? Mm. You can that you can create vacuum, and the constitution said even the Supreme Court has interpreted that there is no way mm. you uh, 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 you uh, no no state that will be given or allocated a local government fund without conducting election. Mm. Why did the Supreme Court say that? Because those who are being elected mm. by their own people. Mm have the legitimacy that's their own legitimacy okay but the court the, the uh, federal high court denied that and recently the worst of it i would the would, federal high court is at the state level or at the federal at, level is is before the local government election mm. You because understand? I know there was one of the conflicting uh, orders uh, where the federal government, federal high courts, yes. is a different uh, order. Why the state uh, uh, high courts is, 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 the is the same thing? You understand? Mm. Um, I just match them together. You, uh, you understand because of our uh, time. Uh, uh, the federal, the federal high court, and the state high court mm. has coordinated jurisdiction. Mm. You understand? Mm. But where you have the attorney general of a state you, you definitely they has over, uh, 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 override or subside uh, uh, to the uh, appeal, uh, uh, federal, federal high court mm. you, you understand mm. so that is why uh, the federal high court now they are in shame that this thing happened and nothing uh, the election has been done and nothing has happened and we have seen those who created the violence after the election after the results were announced we have seen those who uh, uh, created the violence or the uh, 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 who escalated the violence after the immigration of the local government uh, uh, chairman. chairman you understand mm. so definitely uh, uh, judiciary should wash it is hand of. in a politics mm. of political party you understand or they should remain where they are mm. you understand okay. a political party will will just only go to court for fundamental human rights if a person mm. a person mm. his right he is being influenced then he can go to court to demand his own right mm. you understand mm. but you can't take a party to court because party has it its own constitution okay you understand mm. and that constitution give a level playing field that is why they said if you are right then you can go to court mm. you, you understand mm. now another judge after the election appeal court now rule that river state don't have a budget mm. while River State has passed their own budget with the few lawmakers that were there. Mm. Because those who went to court are the ones who decamp from PDP to APC. Okay. Waving flags in the chamber that they have left the party. And a federal high court will sit in Abuja and say, ah, they, they, are, they have not decamp, they are still members of PDP. Mm. So they can continue as lawmakers where uh, 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 their seat is being declared vacant but, uh, by High Court in Pata Court. So tell me, where is this court, court, court issue will allow government and governors and government, government officials and uh, politicians we elect to work for us? Mm. So court has stopped work, court has. Uh, 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 manipulated everything. Nigerian court has become. Uh, 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 well, I don't. I don't want to give them <laughs> the name, but they have they have distorted our this democracy 
and to get it with a bad politician and bad, bad, bad court uh, orders and judgment. Good morning. Glad to have you join us on the show. Your name and where you're calling us yeah. from. I'm Gideon calling from Lagos. Gideon from Lagos. Please go ahead with your contribution. You say your discussion you're having this morning. Mm. And every problem is coming. It's really quick and light from bad things. Okay. What are the solutions to those bad things they are talking Mm. The bad thing is this is, 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 is carry, mm. which is the problem of river state. Okay. The bad thing is why can't you put your spotlight on that uh, on that uh, bad thing? Mm. Where are the areas and the cookies that are near that bad thing? Mm. Why can't they do that and those cookies and that is a river and that bad thing? Whether they are going to execute them through, through by slaughtering them or, or by pouring hot water on them, they should start from somewhere. They should not be looking for battles in any ministry. Mm. They should look for those eggs, eggs and pork that made that bad eggs. Okay. Mm. Before we have to look out to this problem in this country, they should not be crying here on this bad eggs, bad eggs, bad eggs. They are the bad eggs. They are the end. They are the end that made the bad eggs. Mm. We are talking of a soldier that is telling you I'm a little. What is the cost? What is the problem of that soldier that tells you I'm a little? Do they do they give them their static company? Do they give them their allowance? They will divide their allowance by 50 percent. They put that they will not get their allowance. And they will have no voice to cry out. Their family, which they live in their state, the one that starts fighting for one of their own years, salvation for this our system. Yes, but that's the, still but the, they don't justify the fact that or, or justify their action. All right, thank you very much. Your contribution is quite noted, and at this point, we have to let you go. All right, thank you for your contribution. All right. Have yourself a wonderful day. I was going to ask, Mr. Gadu, so with the outcome of the recent uh, court ruling, what is the way forward? Now, the court has declared the uh, uh, River State don't have budget. Mm. So, the budget that Fubara uh, is implementing or working with it is illegal. Mm -hmm. that's so, what's the way that, forward? That's, that's what the court is saying. Okay. So, we don't know where the court got that uh, 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 judgment mm. uh, arrive in that judgment okay you understand mm. because now he reinstate the court reinstate the defected lawmakers mm. and the defected lawmakers now declare the the, the other uh, seat vacant okay you understand mm. those who did not defect do not follow you come. Mm. They declare their seat vacant. Mm. So where is the justice? We are talking about the life of the people in River State. Mm. Or in any state in Nigeria. Mm. Because this thing that uh, 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 High Court, uh, Federal High Court and Appeal Court is doing is going to reflect coming 2027 and also what is going to happen with the local uh, 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 local government funds that uh, uh, my friend from Meduguri called, you understand? Mm. Definitely, this is what is going to happen. Mm. State government will collect the local government uh, funds, mm. and you can run to court. Or if the governors will block ev uh, everybody and do what they want, or if you have a, a, a a ruling party mm. at the federal level, then you can go and influence judgment mm. against the local government uh, uh, firms. You understand? Mm. Now we have seen what uh, we, we, have seen, we all heard what Solido said, the, the governor of Anambra State. Yes. You understand? Mm. So despite that he is uh, he's well uh, knowledgeable, well uh, intellectual and economics, you understand, and a former governor of the Central Bank, and uh, 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 we didn't expect to hear from him about uh, that uh, you can't trust uh, honestly is so uh, so disappointed 
So local government chairmen should they should stand their own ground. You understand? Mm. And get those funds and work with them. Mm -hmm. Well, like if you take your your uh, uh, federal allocation mm -hmm. and give to your governor, ha! The day the governor want to kill you, he will send you to to Kujia prison or even uh, ask court to to take you to Farrell Squad. Okay. So, so definitely uh, uh, something need to be done. Okay. Judiciary need to be reformed. Mm -hmm. Judiciary need to know that there is a lot of political cases mm. that they have to be very careful of them you understand okay. because you can't you can't legitimize uh, 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 somebody who said i'm not illegitimate mm. so just like a, a court giving a father christmas judgment mm. that's what it is well i want to understand, understand something uh, you uh the local go the in, in the state house the people that defected from pdp to apc does that do, does that uh you know restrict them from doing their you, uh, their work does it you see you, it's like you didn't get it there is a lawmakers who defected mm. from pdp to apc okay on the floor of the uh, uh, state assembly in patakot mm -hmm. Now, the same lawmakers ran to court and said, "River State Government don't have budget because we did not pass it." Where were you when they have passed it? Whereas because it's been passed. It has been passed. Okay. You, you understand? Mm. Now, court said, "You have not decamp. You are still." A member of PDP mm. and you are still a, a, a lawmaker mm -hmm. representing your own constituency. Okay. I'm saying I'm not, but court is saying I, I, I am. Mm. That's where the situation is. And declaring a state budget as illegally mm. that budget has not been passed. So whatever Sinfu Dara has done is in the eyes of law is criminality mm. you understand mm. he must account for that so you see the trap that bad politicians mm. put uh, 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 the governor of river state into a corner mm. it's a it's a terrible situation this thing need to be corrected mm. we appeal to the uh, 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 to the Chief Justice of the Federation mm. and the Supreme Court to look into this mm. and when those Federal High Court and uh, 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 Appeal Court mm. for giving orders and uh, 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 bad rulings mm. you, can't, you, 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 you can't stop government from, from operating they are executive you understand mm. and those who uh, 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 give me uh, 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 and the legislator. So the, the judiciary will look people of River State or the people of Nigeria first before even the government. Okay. So is criminality open crime, criminality and criminality? Hmm. Okay. So how, in a how can we legitimize somebody who 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 defected? And who he said has been declared vacant, and now he said he, he is a lawmaker. Now he and they are asking Fubara to bring a fresh budget to to, to pass it. Just just imagine. The, look at the, the the chaos they want to create. That is why he said God is watching them, mm. and true to God is watching them. Mm. They have this court and the uh, uh, the justices that engage in this political judgment. Mm. God is watching them. All right. All right. Okay. So let's uh, talk about this uh, ten thousand. Is uh, is I don't, is it trillion? Or okay, ten thousand trillion saving from subsidy removal for infrastructure and others. And this is according to Wale Ejun. Uh, now the the I I might be uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious and say this ten thousand trillion savings from the subsidy where has it gone into because I I don't know Nigerians are not feeling it Nigerians can't be feeling it and be complaining this much how many trillion ten thousand trillion ten 
uh, savings from subsidy. subsidy so, if we have 10 trillion savings, mm. I think we can uh, 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 put one of our refinery either Patakot or Wari in order. In order. <laughs> <laughs> then we we'll start we we'll start uh, uh, production. Yeah. Then fuel will be available. Yeah. But today, why it is? Yeah. So and that's the question. Where is the where is the money? Where is the, 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 the money? Uh, uh, the former president uh, uh, Mahmoud Buhari mm. said uh, sixteen billion uh, uh, dollars without electricity. Where is the light? Mm. You understand? Yes. So. We, we, well, uh, the why is our 10 billion? <laughs> three our 10 trillion. Where are they? Mm. Why are we not benefiting from, from it? Why are Nigerians not feeling the impact? That is yes. what I am. Uh, my question is uh, 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 Is it mean that uh, we are being told things that are not true? So, you see, these people they will go to uh, 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 all these forums in uh, and summit uh, organized by World Bank and uh, International Monetary Fund and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. They will now open their mouth and talk anyhow. Mm. You understand? Make us start telling World Bank and International Monetary Fund, no, we don't want your policies, we don't want your advice. We will do the way our people will benefit or we want to remove our people from hardship or we want to eradicate poverty we want to uh, alleviate poverty we want to uh, uh, educate our people you understand mm -hmm. but you you brought a bad policies of monopolizing Nora to a foreign currency and uh, 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 putting more hardship into the Nigerian uh, 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 economy and uh, uh, price uh, um, inflation is going up on daily basis, more especially food uh, inflation. Mm. And we are saying we should, we should continue with that policy. How is going to how is it the, the, how that policy? How many policies that they have introduced mm. right from Muhammad Buhari to uh, 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 President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu? They are also assaulted. Mm. They bring good policy and no implementation. They will speak good English so that we, they will convince uh, 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 people in the world that why we are here suffering. Mm. Do we need, who told them, do we need advice from any international organization that were created only to, to extort Africa, to kill Africa, to, 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 to corrupt Africa, and to steal our our our, our resources mm. and and so on and so forth, giving us bad policies that don't have human face, mm. and we sit, and our government central bank minister of finance and everybody will sit down and be looking at them and clapping clapping for them for so what? And if the World Bank is even urging the government to push on with the reforms. <laughs> Go to bed is watching them. Like the <laughs> <laughs> right. God, God is watching them. So this had this had the situation. Uh -huh. The governor of Bauchi State came out and said, These your policies are not working. Are not because working. Because Nigerians can't feel it. Yes. Let us do let us do something that will work. Different. And we start attacking the governor for, for having ambition. Mm. What this has to, has to do with ambition. Now, now let's well, talk about I, I know, on the, looking at what has played out in the judiciary between the pro uh, uh, Fubara and the anti, uh, you know, uh, anti party. But the thing is, do we, because before we know it, 2027 is here and uh, people go to the polls to vote who they are, their preferred candidates. If, uh, do you think our judiciary needs reform? Our judiciary institution because we don't seem to understand what is going on in the judiciary you know uh, on, on broad daylight the judiciary comes up with uh, uh, op the, the things that are supposed to be opposite or things that are opposite of the case broad daylight you know staring at us in the face what do you think should uh, should be done in our judiciary institution so at least become the cope that they're supposed to be to the uh, ordinary people uh, I'm, I'm sorry to tell Nigerians that we don't have we don't have a judiciary, mm. but we have a bad uh, 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 judges. Mm. We don't have a judiciary, but we have a bad judge. We, we have, have bad, bad judges. judges. 
because we don't hear from the good judges. Mm. It's the bad judges that are making headlines in our news, mm. in our daily, daily times, daily uh, 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 electronic uh, uh, media. Well, because they say the uh, 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 justice so 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 and so forth rule that or give an order interim order whether injunction whether this whether what you understand mm. the judges name are being called mm. you understand mm. so i don't think there is any uh, 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 mm. reform that they will do because we we don't have even the the, the, the system of the judiciary is not working and but we, we we heard from the bad judges <laughs> so let us go with the bad judges and no no no, no. <laughs> we can't continue that like <laughs> there is something needs to be done and they need to get <laughs> out of corruption <laughs> but this is where we end this for today's show uh, keep watching captain television and see we'll come your way some other time i am macy emelite do have yourself a lovely weekend